Hello everyone, my name is Sumit and I welcome all of you to BISP Self Learning Video Broadcast Solution. Today I am going to tell you how to add an inline visual force page in a standard page layout. So first let's understand the business requirement. So my business requirement is that I have got an account object here in my Salesforce and within this account object there is an account record. So let's take an example for this Burlington Textile Corporation of America and uh, we have got this let's suppose with this particular account we have got hundreds of opportunities so if I scroll down we have got opportunity so right now we have got only one opportunity but let's imagine that we have got hundreds of opportunity which are associated with this particular account record and if a user would like to search any specific opportunity or if the user wants to search the opportunity that user has to scroll down through all the opportunities and it may take some time so to save the time we can create a visual force page and a controller extension that will provide the user with an opportunity search interface on the account detail page so the solution is first of all we'll be going to create a visual force page and uh, in that visual force page we'll be going to create the functionality to search the opportunities and that visual force page will be going to add on this particular account object page so that the user can directly enter the opportunity name and can search the record so first for this first of all I need to create a visual force page so let's create a visual force page here so I'm going to create one visual force page here and the name of that visual force page is search opportunity because this page does not exist so I click on this link and it will create a page for me I'll remove the existing code and to make the work ease I have already note down the code so I'm going to just copy paste that code so I just copy paste the code and paste it here so let me explain you this code so in this code first of all we have created a standard controller account because I am going to extract the data from this account object then extensions opportunity search controller so basically extension will work or extension will create a create an apex class for this particular visual force page then I created a style here style tag this is to apply the style on this on a, this visual force page I created a page block assign a title ID and mode mode is editable this page message if the mess if the search does not exist or if the opportunities does not exist it will add a message over here in this page uh, page message section then after that in this page block section we have created a page block section item there's an output label for search text then there's an input text so that the user can enter the search text for searching and the value will get from the search text then there's a command button added there is an action with that search re-render result block and status is equal to status basically re-render is to refresh a particular block or a section so this particular result block is this page block section so whenever we clicked on this button so this reset this page block section will refresh and in this page block section I have added one page block table and in this page block table it will display stage name amount and close date so now when I save this it will throw an error message because this opportunity search controller does not exist so I create this search controller class and I will let me copy paste the code for this search controller class as well so that is the search controller class so I will just paste the search controller class code now first of all in this I have created one controller this is a standard controller controller then instance of an account object created an list search list basically of opportunity type because it may return may or may not return multiple records multiple values then the search text so I we get and set the values this is to get the values and this is to set the values then there is an opportunity search controller this is the default constructor basically this constructor and in this I have set the initialize this particular of instance of this account object then the search function here this search function when user clicked on this button command button 
it will call the value is search and the action is search so it will it will call this it will execute this search function here and in this search function i check if the search result equal to equal to null if it is blank so it will add into it will create a it will initialize basically this search result is equal to new list opportunity else it will make it clear clear out the current result if they exist then i have made a search here so for searching the record from an opportunity from searching the record of an opportunity i have made uh, i have written a soql query here so you can see the soql query this search so this no need act basically so i remove this and i write a query here a string query is equal to select oid o dot id comma o dot name or stage close date amount from opportunity where o dot name like search text order by o dot name but the issue over here is this particular query it will execute or it will extract all the opportunity records and our requirement is i would like to extract only those records or the current record from th which are related to with, with this particular account object or account record so you can see here the query is ready now our task is to add this visual force page on our account object layout so for this i switch to account object here and in this account object i click on edit layout because i am going to edit its section so i click on edit layout and i would like to add my section just after this custom link or just above this custom link so first of all i drag and drop a section just above this and i give a name to this section as an opportunity section and uncheck this edit page and one column now this in this opportunity section i'm going to add my visual force page so i click on visual force page and drag and drop this visual force page from this bar onto into that section so scroll down and here and then i customize it i would like to set it properties so first of all show scroll bar and i set it pi pixels to 400 and if you want to show label that is okay and okay so you can see we have search opportunity if you don't want to show the label we can uncheck it so like this we have added a section uh, basically a visual force page in an inline section on an object so i'll save it so once i saved it you can see the section will add here as an opportunity section we'll get that visual force page here and if i'll just copy paste the opportunity name united oil let's suppose i select united oil and sla or I simply select United Oil. So I write here United Oil and paste it here and search it. So it will search all the United Oil for me. So, like this, you can see how we can create a visual force page, and that visual force can be placed or can be added in a section as an inline section of an in an object. So that's all in this video. If you have any queries, if you have any issues, you can visit our website www.bispetrainings.com or bispsolutions.com. You can subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos on Salesforce. Have a nice day ahead. Goodbye.